Jenna's Tuck and welcome back to Music Teachers Q&A. Now this is the place you'll want to be if you want to learn how to get the best out of your music teaching career and have fun all at the same time. So thanks so much for your feedback and input on our last week's topic because it's great to see such fantastic input from so many people. Now I really want these videos to be just a starting point for the whole discussion. So please do feel free to add to the discussion via the comment box below if you're watching my blog or if you're watching this elsewhere, here is the page that you need. Now today I'm going to cover a technical question and this is one that we get a lot of at our customer help desk here at the Fun Music Company. So we know this question really, really well and we'll help you with the answer. And this comes from Amy from the USA. She writes, is there a way to use your lessons if I don't even have access to a smartboard? Now Amy, I'm going to start off by saying in this question, I don't really want these Q&As just to be about our products by themselves. Just about music teaching topics in general is what's going to be most important to most people out there. So I'm going to just rephrase it a little bit and interpret this question as saying, how can I use any interactive materials if I don't have access to a board at all? Well, Amy, I think the first thing to understand about interactive whiteboards is that really all you can think of it as being is like a big touch screen for your computer. It's your computer that drives it. Therefore, anything that is designed for interactive whiteboard really can be done on big screen computers or projectors as well. Now, I know that many teachers who have a laptop or computer at the front of the class and a projector hooked up to it, well, they simply do the interaction via the computer screen rather than touching the actual board. Many of the materials are songs or playing activities out there anyway, then often they can be done without even a projector. All you have to do is have the computer there so you can play the music tracks from it and know where you're up to in the lesson. Anyway, I hope this is a great start for you and please don't worry about it if you don't have access to any of that technology in your classroom. It can still be done with just a normal computer or a projector. Anyway, if you have further questions about that, I have some great articles and videos that we've previously made on this topic and I'll put them all in the notes below this video. So keep sending me questions through, both on topics of technical nature like this and topics about teaching challenges that maybe you're facing right now. I've got a whole lot more already planned, but I want to research the answers and come up with some useful solutions for you. So thank you if you've already been sending me in a question and I hope to be able to answer yours very soon. 